What's up, Sagittarius Cross Watchers? It's West Coast Tarot with your January What Is My Sagittarius Up To? This is the Cross Watcher video, which means that you watch videos for a Sagittarius, even though you may not be one, but you watch the videos because you have connected romantically or energetically with a Sagittarius, okay? So this is to give you insight as to what is the current energy around them. Now, Sagittarius, this really isn't meant for you. However, it can be a bonus reading or a personal reading for you, um, a general personal reading, especially if you are a Sagittarius who cross-watches for other people, okay? So just apply it where it fits, and if it's not for you, it's not for you. It is a general reading, um, not really a, a more one-on-one -on -one personal reading. If you like my style and I vibe with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. And if you're interested in any of the tarot or oracle decks that I use or want to purchase a personal reading with me, all that information can be found down below. So Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius, please. What is the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please? Tell me about the energy surrounding Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the sun. What's up, Leos? We've got some Leos in the house. Okay, so I do feel like someone here is just planning, making decisions, trying to move on from some unhappiness, trying to move on from darkness in their life, trying to move on from a dark place of sadness and depression. Okay, so we have Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Spears, Seven of Spears, Eight of Spears, Justice, what's up Libra, Hermit, what's up Virgo? Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Coins. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who can be very, very, very generous, very kind, very prosperous, very abundant. This is someone who's a hard worker, likes to work hard, and likes to make sure that everyone that he loves is, he or she loves, is reaping the reward. Okay? So this is also someone who could be a husband or a committed person. Okay? A committed partner. So I feel like in the recent past, um, I do feel like there was, with the Ace of Cups here, there was a beginning of love, okay? There was a cup of love for someone. Um, I do feel like someone opened their heart. Someone was very, very passionate about this connection. Someone had a lot of deep-rooted emotion. I feel like there definitely was love here. This is also Queen of Cups, Tor um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But I definitely feel like, you know, someone was interested in someone. Um, there was a couple of love for this person. There was happiness. There were good times. There was celebrations, okay? But I feel like something happened. With the Nine of Swords, there was a traumatic experience here. Something that caused deep pain. Something that caused a lot of stress something that caused a lot of worries. I do feel like someone may have been trapped in a situation. I also feel like someone may have been played for a fool or left cornered and not able to do what they wanted to do. Someone felt confined and restricted. So I do feel like there could have been an energy where someone was involved, but I feel like the feelings were there. I feel like the love was there. The emotion was raw. Okay. Clarify Queen of Cups, please. Why is this here? Please, why is this here? Oh my goodness. Okay, what's up, Virgo? Okay, yeah, so I have Virgo and again, the Queen of Cups. So I do feel like someone um, became disconnected. There could have been someone who was very manipulative manipulative in this situation. Um, but I also feel like someone had to do the right thing. And by doing the right thing, the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone who can have very manipulative or very um, evil tendencies, but I also feel like this, what I'm pulling the most from this situation is that this is a martyr energy, so I don't feel like I'm getting so much negative energy off this card. The one energy I'm pulling the most off this card is that someone was a martyr, so I feel like someone may have had emotion for the other person, but they were confined to another situation, and although they had love, they had passion, the smartest thing to do was to be a martyr and to hold back your emotion and not to express your true love. Um, and the hermit is someone who's very smart, very wise, and makes very good decisions. So I feel like this is a head over heart decision. And, you know, someone's had to put their heart locked up, okay? Clarify Ace of Cups, please. Yeah, I definitely feel like someone could have been married here. But with the Justice... I feel like there was a mutual awareness of 
the connection, okay? Mutual awareness of the connection. Um, the Queen of Wands, this is Fire Energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I do feel like someone had some insecurities. I do feel like there are, there. I, I'm pulling more than one person in the situation. So I'm getting really strongly third-party situation. Third-party situation does not always have to be a romantic interest. It can be a third influence, such as an energy, family, friend, um, things like that nature. But the Queen of Wands, this is someone who can be very insecure and who can be very jealous. So I do feel like someone had a partner who was very overly jealous. They could have been married to. So I do feel like there was a lot of obstacles in this connection. Nine of Swords, please. The, knight, the Queen of Wands, too, this is someone who went upright, very independent, financially successful, but the Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who may not take initiative, might be um, lazy, may not be independent, may be, you know, almost codependent like the Queen of Cups. Clarify Nine of Swords, please. Yeah, I feel like someone was bored and discontent in a connection, and I feel like I feel like someone is stuck in a situation where they're not happy, doing a lot of contemplation, and I feel like another person is feeling confined. Four of Cups, please. Four of Cups, please. Ooh, goodness gracious. Four of Cups, please. See, I feel like this was released. I feel like there was too many obstacles here. Um, with the the Knight of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like the journey stopped. I feel like someone stopped taking action. Everything was put up, and I feel like someone released the situation, and they're feeling alone, and they're feeling confined, and they're not happy. They're, they're bored and discontent in this situation. Okay. Currently, with the King of Spears in reverse, this is uh, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel like, especially with the Seven of Wands in reverse, I do feel like, so, you know, someone's giving up here. I feel like someone has become detached. Um, someone has put a lot of stress on their shoulder. They're, like, putting really crazy, unachievable expectations on themselves. With the Seven of Spears in reverse, this is someone giving up. I do feel like someone's trying to give up and move on. So I do feel like Scorpio right now, you know, I do feel like they, did I say Scorpio? Some of you could be connecting with a Scorpio. I just got done doing the Scorpio reading. That's why I said it. Sagittarius could definitely be, really trying to forgive, forget, and move on. To disconnect. You know, I feel like they're not trying to put time or energy into a situation anymore. I feel it's like, you know, for some of you, this is someone who could have messed up, too, this King of Spears. If it was a masculine um, Sagittarius, they could have messed up, and it's like, instead of making things right, they might just fold the tell and move on. That's if that's a masculine Sagittarius. But for a feminine, um, if you are a feminine watching for, or someone watching for a feminine Sagittarius, I feel like they still have passion, but I feel like they're trying to get over something in order to move on in their life for their own sanity, okay? Clarify King of Spears, please. Why is this here? Yeah, see, they're trying to move on. They're trying to transition from someone who hurt them or someone who detached from them. This King of Pentacles, okay? It could definitely be um, a very unhealthy marriage. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seven of Spears, please. The King of Pentacles is definitely someone, In uh, when he's upright, he's amazing. When he's in reverse, he's not really good. <laughs> um, you know, the King of Pentacles in reverse can be someone who can be violent, who can have criminal activity, um, play mind games, very manipulative, very superficial, um, very lazy. So I do feel like someone's trying to move on from this energy, okay? Clarify Ace of Wands, please. I do feel like someone's not motivated to work on a situation right now. For some of you guys, someone could try to be moving from a job because they're not happy with their boss, too. So there could be a boss here that someone's not happy with. But I do feel like, you know, whoever is watching this video, I do feel like someone is torn here. Whether it's a Sagittarius or you, someone, you know, is kind of stuck at a stalemate, and it's like, I gotta choose a lesser of two evils, and what I'm choosing is to 
fold in a towel because it's too much of a difficult decision. Eight of Spears, please. Yeah, trying to move on. Five of Cups um, in reverse, trying to move on, trying to move on from this. Trying to forgive and forget and recover back your life. Five of Cups, please. Because there was a connection here that was loss. You know, trying to move on from a huge emotional loss. Okay, trying to, you know, from what someone thought was very beautiful. I feel like the emotions were there. The connection was there. But it's a huge emotional loss. They're trying to move on from it. Going forward, I do see that there's a possibility that with a just in reverse, I feel like, you know, someone has kind of fell off path and there has been a lot of unaccountability. But with the Eight of Cups, I feel like they're not quite ready to walk away. Okay, I feel like they're avoiding the situation. I feel like they're avoiding problems. They're not dealing with the problems, they're avoiding it. Because I feel like they've kind of went off path and they haven't made the best decisions. There has been some issues here of being dishonest, you know, being unaccountable. But I feel like going forward, it's like I feel like this person is trying to move on. But I feel like they're not trying to address the situation. Clarify justice, please. Why is this here? Yeah, see, I have King of Cups here, um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So I do feel like there's someone here that I feel like there was a lot of love here. There was a lot of passion here. But I feel like right now it's like I'm just trying to avoid conflict. Like we can agree to disagree. I just don't want conflict right now. I can't handle it. So I feel like they're trying to avoid any of this um, energy negatively from this person. Clarify the Hermit, please. What's up, Pisces? What's up, Gemini? Um, yeah, see with the hermit here, there's someone who's holding back. And I be I feel like someone's being very secretive. Okay, someone's being very secretive and waiting. So someone could be waiting um, to move on for some. For others of you with the hermit here, I definitely feel like someone's lost their way. But it's making, you know, someone has made some bad decisions. And I feel like there has been some secrets and secret agendas, but I feel like ultimately someone is looking towards their future and waiting to make a decision. Clarify Eight of Cups, please. Yeah, they're avoiding the situation, but there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a new beginning. There's definitely going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a breakthrough and a new beginning here with the full card. Um, I feel like everything that they've been dealing with is going to be cut out in order for this to happen. Tell me about Sagittarius spirit, please. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. It says wisdom doorways into your, in your mind open. Have you discovered, having you discovered talents you never knew you possessed? Psychic forces bring back your ancient roots. Wisdom is gained along with the knowledge of using it. So some of you are just really starting to um, gain wisdom. And it's, you know, some of you are really starting to embrace talents that you maybe didn't even know that you had. Um, you know, could be generational, handed down from person to person in your family. You know, psychic, intuitive, things of that nature. And cleansing. The card indicates letting go of the past, going through a process of self-cleansing and self-awareness. An inner knowing develops a new outlook, a new beginning. So I feel like this is a cleansing and a, you know, we have to purge and we have to cleanse. And, um, you know, some of you might walk away from this connection and some Sagittarius's might be in the situation and they're cleansing themselves from this energy. So I do feel like now is a time to cleanse because we do have that new beginning starting. Okay. Oh, I don't want this deck. I want... Okay, so for those of you who have not spoken to your Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get a message from their higher self to you. What would Sagittarius like to tell their cross-watcher, please? Okay. 
It says, I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. So this is someone who's acknowledging subconsciously that, you know, they, they have this bond with you that they've never experienced with anyone else. It's not come close, okay? And it says, there are still so many things unsaid between us okay so they never got to tell you everything that they wanted to tell you um they still are thinking of things to tell you i'm sorry i held myself back with you yes yeah, so see they have held back a lot of emotions and a lot of communication so i feel like all these thoughts are going through their head but they're having a really hard time processing it on how to verbalize it to you or even how to reach out to you so i feel like they're not really doing that at this moment in time spirit tell me about the sagittarius energy please me about the energy of Sagittarius, please. It says the green witch, fresh new spring. So I feel like there's definitely going to get a new, a new, um, in spring, there's going to be a new outlook. I feel like we're going to have a breakthrough. We're going to cut cutting out the chaos for a new beginning in spring, okay? It's going to be a fresh new beginning. It could be a new beginning with like a do-over in this connection, leaving another party, or it can be a new person altogether if you're waiting for your Sagittarius, okay? So before I let you guys go, let me close you out with a message from the Rebel deck with a message specifically for you because these videos get a little heavy. What message do we have for the cross-watcher of Sagittarius, please? It says love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Heck yes. Heck yes. Love is fun. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world. So do it. And I'll do one more. You're the shit. Don't forget it. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want a personal reading with me, all that information is down below or just Google West Coast Tarot and my scheduling site will come up. I wish you guys love and light and I will talk with you later. Bye Sagittarius Crosswatchers.